So if you have a bunch of flip charts in Active Inspire that you want to be able to open up on your iPad, um, you're going to need to export those in some way. So if I open one up in Inspire and I go to File, there's an option to export. And there's a few different options. Um, the first is one called an IWB format. This is supposed to be a universal interactive whiteboard format um, that you could export that would allow you to open this up in Smart Notebook and some of those other things. Um, kind of generic template. Um, the problem is there's not many apps on the iPad that support that. Um, so the most universal way to export that works the best is to export all of your pages to either uh, a JPEG or a PDF. Um, if I do a JPEG, what this is going to do is this is going to take uh, essentially an image. So if I make a folder here and call it Inspire Flipchart and hit Create, it is going to export each one of my pages as a separate image um, that it will then put into um, that folder. So if I want to, I could then open up something maybe like Keynote on my iPad and I could insert those photos um, one at a time on each page of a Keynote presentation or Google Slides presentation and then be able to do my writing, drawing, whatever it is um, onto that. So here's what that folder looks like. These are all of the images one page at a time. Each page of my flip chart is a separate image in this folder. I could then just take this folder, um, I could airdrop it, I could put it in my Google Drive, whatever method I want to be able to get that onto um, my iPad. Um, the other option I could choose to do is if I open up my Inspire Flipchart, I can go to File, Export, All Pages, and do a PDF. What this will do is this will make a single document that contains all of the different pages of my um, document. So if I chose this, hit Save, it's going to make a single PDF file that has all of these documents within it. So if I choose this method, I would have to open up that document in an app that allows me to annotate on top of PDFs, something like the Notes app. Um, I could import that into my Notes app, open that app up, um, open that document up, go to the page I want, and start filling out directly. Which method you choose is entirely up to you. They both will technically work. It is important to note out that essentially what you're doing is you're kind of flattening these flip chart pages. So if you had any kind of interactive elements or any kind of games or things where you're dragging and dropping, um, you will lose those. Um, it's kind of like taking a still photo of each slide. Um, so you kind of have to make do with what you got in there.